Welcome to StockMarketFunding.com. We have bear market ETFs. We have bull market ETFs. And if you would like to go back on our website in January, we did a lot of coverage on these. And it's time that when we had showed back then, we had showed all of these bull funds uh, how overbought that they were. And we still have some that are overbought. And it's quite a diversification here, but we're going to go through them. And we just want to show you that we have the bull funds here, which is this one, once again, and the bear. And since we've had the correction between these two instruments, a bear and bull, by the way, welcome to stockmarketfunding.com, is that there's lots of ways to trade very good things out of here. That means that when they're overbought, you sell short. And when these are oversold on the bears, you go long. And on the next video, what I am going to do is we are going to put together, because if we hit some sell signals on these things, we're going to put together where the uh, best bear funds work. And here's an ultra short S&P 500 right here. So if the S&P 500 breaks down, we're going to want to own some of the uh, uh, ultra short S&P 500. Here's a 3x one here on the tech sector, which was extremely overbought at one time. And we're finally starting to come down there. There are lots of ones in here that we are going to go through with our traders one on one. And we're going to cherry pick out the best movers so that if we continue to fall that we've got our things set up our trades will be set up and we'll use both the uh, bear and of course we'll use the bull and what we'll do is um, we will go long one and go short the other so basically some of the uh, bear funds that were up here at one time were so oversold on a daily level here and some of these readings that you see here were down to almost nothing one that we like is right here this one the MSCI here's the technology one that's come way down so there are lots here's the S&P 500 here's the ultra short Japan here's the Q's so here's the MSCI EAF and emerging markets. Healthcare, doesn't matter. There's a good diversification of ETFs, three bear X and, and whatnot. We also have another market minder over here that we will be creating some of the QID, the FAZ, FAS, the, uh, uh, the DXD, and there are some here that we had put together before the QID and we're going to look at them individually all I want to do is make sure that our trading staff at stockmarketfunding.com knows how to pair trade so I'm going long the bear at times and I'm shorting the bull at times and just vice versa sometimes I'm going to be going along the bull and then sometimes I'll be shorting the bear depending on where the bounces are in the indexes and whatnot here are the financials ultra trust financials right here and it's one that we like the small cap bear 3x is also a good one because what's going to happen with higher taxes moving forward sorry I see small cap suffering okay and here's the volume that was traded on that one 50 million shares here's the financial bear it's a new one this is a new one here we had uh, 78 million shares there 50 million shares there we also had on consumer which had this amount of volume traded only very light but remember the consumer dries up moving forward 
for long term positions these are nice ones to be in so there's a here's a Russell uh, well the 2000 that you can get involved in we're going to be getting involved in a lot of them moving forward and some of them will be more aggressively traded toward year end some will be traded very short term within the cycle as we go into the earnings season here's the large cap bear okay so when I'm looking at the large cap bear fund I can simply scroll over here pull up the bowl and see exactly where its opposite counterpart is and our traders will learn how to trade these things accordingly and here's a small cap down here that's the bull fund okay and we're going to start looking at where the imbalances of these trades are on these bull ETFs okay because there's a lot a lot of things here that we can do that people don't know here's the S&P 500 2x bull what they don't know and probably what you don't know is I can short that and go long the opposite uh, I can short this bull outright and go long the other one they work out wonderful here's a 2x on some of these other ones that we like and we're not going to go into full depth here but what we tell you to do is keep coming back to stockmarketfunding.com and we're going to go through individual ones and do individual uh, videos on the ones that we like and we're going to take a look at the weekly charts on them and that's what we're going to be doing and we're going to pick out the ones that are the Dow, the S&P, the NASDAQ technology uh, both bear and bull so there's the bull and what people have been ignoring for so long is what these were so oversold people that was very simply to buy these because this is the back half here's a uh, tech daily tech bear right here they're not nearly as overbought on the daily as they are these aren't nearly as oversold as they were here's a consumer services right here so there's lots of trades that we are going to do here and we teach people how to do this in our school so there's the uh, bear ETFs and whatnot, and we're going to be watching them carefully. 